Hello and welcome to Bungo Bar. I'm your host, George Benson. And in this week's documentary, I'll be interviewing two housemates living in the North County Dublin to see how they're coping and the, the, with their lifestyle in the current economic climate. So, let's see how we got on. So here we are with uh, John Barker. Um, tell me, John, how long have you been living here? I've been living here about four or five months now. Yeah, you go very good. And uh, what do you think of it? Yeah, it's it's good. Um, the the rent is cheap, and um, it's in a good neighbourhood. Um, there is some minor things which I don't like about it. Oh yeah, I like what? My room. So here we are with Ross. Uh, what's your surname, Ross? McRory. And we, we, sorry to annoy you, but are we recording anytime soon? Yeah, yeah, we're recording right now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay, so um, how do you find living here? Oh. Really good. Yeah. yeah. It, it, everything's good, nothing, nothing, no, uh, no complaints. Oh, nothing major. Yeah, and, oh, and what, about, what about your roommate? My roommate, John. John. Yeah, me and my friend John are friends. So tell us about your roommate, Ross. What can I say about him? He's exaggerated person. He's just over the top. He's ludicrous. So Ross, your friend John, he says you're uh, you're a bit ludicrous. What's what's your reply to that statement? Ludicrous. Oh, music always calls me that. When he says that to me. I usually just think um, it's a compliment. Like, um, you know, people and uh, crunchy nut cornflakes. If you say that that is ludicrously tasty, well, that's what I think he's referring to me. So, John, what do you work at yourself? I'm the assistant manager in Paris. Ross, uh, what do you work yourself? I do. What, do. what do you do? Well, you know when buildings are getting demolished? Yeah. When the person goes in there and takes the light bulbs out. You know, recycle them, or keep them for myself. I, I usually sell them. That's how I get my income. Alright. And do you drive a car yourself, John? I do, yeah. I am a Skyline. So do you drive a car yourself? I do. M what do you drive? I drive a blue car. A blue car? Yeah. What type of car is it? One that goes on the road. Alright. Four wheels. Four wheels, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah! And has the economy affected you in any way in your in work or in your lifestyle? Not majorly, no. Because the job that I have at the moment is very comfortable. And the money is good. And people are always spending things and having us to buy. And work-wise, not really. But within the house, Person affects them more than me, and them being affected affects me. So, how do you think the economic climate has affected you? Not much. Got a bit of a sunburn there the other day, but I don't know what it have been. Well, but, but what about money wise? I've never seen that fall from the sky. Okay. Okay, uh, Ross, uh, yeah. thanks very much for your time. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Nice. Otherwise, you, you, you can't go out. You can't. You can't go out. That. Oh. Well, ah, thank you very much, Ross. Okay, that's great, John. Thanks very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you. See you again. Bye bye. bye. Well, a very big thank you to John and Ross for the contribution to the documentary. Let's hope we see them again soon. I've been your host, George Benson. This is the Bungo Bar, and remember, never give up on a good time.